Yes, that thing not in focus. That's what I'm worried about. This guy right here. Focus. That is kind enough to come out of there. So what I had to do was a couple stops off at a couple places. Grab myself one of these guys. Helicoil thread repair kit. Mine happens to be a, M, a 10 millimeter by 1.25 inch. Um, so what I have to do is drill out with a 13 by 30 second inch. Try out these helicoils and then tap it using that guy and the tap that it came with. This was uh, 64 bucks at, or 72 after uh, tax at O'Reilly's. So and it's like 59 on Amazon. So uh, before tax, but I needed it right now. So you know you gotta pay the right now price. And then the tapper, I have one, but I wasn't sure if it was the same size or not, which it is. So I'll just add this to my collection of tools that I have no use for, but bought anyways. Oh, the other one's an Irwin too chalk line I was going to use for something else, something woodworking project, but anyways, I'm going to give these guys a shot, so first things first, got to get in there and drill this guy out, right in there. Alright, I went ahead and taped off my uh, head, so I don't get any metal shavings down in my chutes, my oil chutes, or else uh, my thing, what I'm going to do is take an X-Acto knife and cut out my little hole. I did put a couple extra pieces of tape there, just to make sure... I didn't nick that head. And it's pretty, it kind of centers itself here. Normally I'd like a little something extra, but. Really just kind of letting the drill do the work. Look at all that shit. All that shit. That's a lot of shit. I could just run it in reverse. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of spritz. For those of us without compressed air or air compressor, it's on my list. I just, yeah, is it some kind of lock? There is some kind of lock. Fucking junkies. Oh, that's cold. Shit. Holy shit. It's blowing right back on my finger. It's cold. Let's take the end. There's still some more in there, but looks like I got all the uh you wanna take it. You wanna see what I'm looking at? That's there. See if I can get you down there. Yeah. It's not going to want to focus on that now that I got the uh, tape in focus, but it's down there. A little bit of schwitz in there, but mainly got it. I'm going to hit it one more time real quick. Oh. 
Doing job. I'm gonna do my job. Oh, that's Alright, now they got it all cleaned out. These little things, which are independent, they're kind of, it's like a spring. But the outside diameter is supposedly 13 20 seconds and the inside diameter is supposedly let's see it appears to be threading we'll see <laughs> i mean 1.25 these are 1.25 so yeah all right so i gotta figure out how to use this thing i think i just set it on there and crank it in there and I believe this side has something right there, but... Uh, I gotta figure out how to use this thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm supposed to be using this um, holder part to it. You can see, these are the instructions. Drill it, tap it, insert coil, and push it through, which I did. Um, but I don't think I need to do that step. And I don't think that'll help me. I did push it through and it got kind of hard to push through and I got kind of a feel for what it's supposed to feel like. But I think for this application, I'm just gonna drop it in and start twisting on it and hopefully it works. Wish me luck. It didn't go very far before it. Started getting really hard to twist. Let's see. Um, I think I put some kind of socket. Nope. It doesn't work. Mine works. Before I go cranking this down. ballpark here. Oh, it's dead on me. Oh, here we go. Should I get this back in the uh, screen piece appropriately? Should I sides or anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's 14. This is for all you gratification freaks out there. I don't think it's going to come off all nice, but... <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, perverts. Alright, got this guy all cleaned up. Uh, I got my guide pins in. I got a, I'm gonna wipe this down, get a little bit of that oil off again one more time. This guy over here, I just cleaned up a little bit, letting it kind of drip dry. Some of the uh, residual uh, brake cleaner I threw on there. Hopefully that didn't mess it up. But yeah, it's kind of about ready to throw the guy back on there. Throw that guy back on there. Guy back on there. All right, I think it's back on there. Uh, went on it's very smooth. Dropped right into place. Love it, love it. Uh, hopefully that's the last time I have to do that for a while. As you can see, the head is back off because my insert was kind enough to do this. Luckily I've got a bunch of uh, 
backup head bolts and more inserts so I'm going to clean this guy out and give it another shot all right so I just uh, decided to run the tap back down it put a bunch of oil on it re-tapped it so I think I'm gonna do that a couple times um, I got a lot farther down this time I went all the way to the thing you can see the little scratch mark on there before I was only going on to here so I think I just didn't go far enough down all right three hours later where was I tightening sequence all right D16 Z6 starting out at 30 Gonna wait at 73. All right, it passed its first test. It stayed at 30. Continuing on. All right, it's back down there. It's all torqued up. Didn't quite want to go all the way. It started to slip a little bit, so I left it where it is at its tightest. I cannot, however, using my hand wrench, turn it. So I know that it is very tight on there. Just not, not might not be, you know. 73 Newton metric 53 foot pounds <laughs> so you start out with uh, 22 foot pounds or 30 Newton and then you work your way down to the, or up to 73 Newton or 63 inch foot pounds but they're all back on there now so yeah I can move on with my life uh, 